Okay, uh, question 16. We don't really do this question anymore on our exams. We used to. I think that we've changed it. Um, so this is the triangle ABC. Might as well give a quick sketch of the triangle. Uh, 1, 3 is A, negative 1, 1 is B, and 5, 1 is C. So we're going to draw up a triangle. Now, they told us that median, B, median to BC is that. So the median to BC is, well, it's median A. So the median to BC is what I call median A. So going from there to there, and apparently that is going to cut the there at about 5. Okay, so that is our first equation. Now, what they want to find is the centroid. Now, there are two ways to do this. One of the ways that we used to teach the kids, because it used to be in our curriculum, but we've kind of changed our plan here, is that you take the opposite, sorry, from the vertex to the opposite midpoint, and then you find the equation of the line, and then you look for another one, like I could do, say, this, and I find that POI, and that POI is the centroid. But we're not doing that anymore. So this really is just like a one mark question. The other trick to a centroid, if you ever find the centroid, a centroid is really just the midpoint, and you can find it by just averaging the x's and y's. So you can really just do 1 plus negative 1 plus 5 and divide it by 3. And then you can do 3 plus 1 plus 1 and divide it by 3. Now, if you are supposed to solve the centroid using medians, then this probably won't get you very many marks. So the centroid is going to be equal to, well, 5 over 3. And then also 5 over 3. Wait, how's my math there? The centroid here is equal to, yeah, 5 over 3 and 5 over 3. OK, yeah, now that works. Anyways, don't worry too much about this question. Uh, it won't be on my exam. Uh, if you're in another class, you might need to know how to do it.